Good day, guys. Being here. Um, today we're going to talk about stacked wall. Okay, stacked wall, it, and also we're going to talk about so this. So this is actually just one single. So I'll just create a one wall and the split two. So if we split in in the middle of this wall, so we will see it becomes two wall. Okay, so quite similar to that st stacked wall. So you can let me just change this wall type. So okay, so looks like quite similar. So we're going to talk about uh, these two different um, different type of walls. Okay, so let's do it. First, let's just create a new project. Okay, so first stacked wall so it, it's under so it's on the wall so just go on the architecture wall and here so click on this just go down to the, the bottom of this list so this is the stacked wall okay so you will see currently this one's 250 uh, brick timber start 90 mil timber start so let's select this one and we can just create a wall Okay, so now let's go to 3D view and we'll, you will see this is a stacked wall. So the lower part is a brick veneer and that's the, just a stud wall on the top. And if you select this wall, so so currently because it's a, it's a meter a meter high, so, so you can change this or you can just change the height of this. And if, if you want to change the height of this brick veneer wall, so you need to go to edit type, go click on edit. And this is the height to control this height. Okay, so for example, if I change to change it to 2.7, okay, apply, so you'll change this height. Okay, and let's go uh, edit again. So these are two, of course, you can also add another, uh, multiple um, you can add more type so for example i want to add another on top of this of course you can okay so and um i think um offset here yeah, it depends on so because currently this wall is using wall center to align these two so because these two wall uh the, the thickness of these two walls are different and if you use wall center to align them, you probably need to adjust this offset every time you change the thickness. Okay. So for example, if I change, so to um, adjust the wall, because these two are actually um, basic wall, so you, you will be able to find them. So if I click OK and OK. So one option is you can tab select this. So you can select part of this stacked wall and cs create similar or you can also go to go here so under modify so this is create similar cs so you can create a new, a new uh, wall so this one is exactly the same type uh, of this one the top part okay so you can do this as uh, the same thing so tab select cs create another one so this is the brick veneer wall so if you change this one you will also change this if you change this one you will also change this okay so for example if i select this one so this is a brick veneer so it looks like different because uh, it's just different face okay so see so let me change it to sd a uh, shade sd and select this one flip space so now they look the same Right. So now select this brick veneer wall, edit type. So what I'm going to do is I'll just I want to because this one there's no uh, finish internally. So interior side there's no finish. I want to add a, a finish. So go down to here. So this is interior. Okay, interior. And then let's just change this to finish. So this is quite important. Always set them right okay so and i just want to use the gypsum wallboard give it a, a thickness and that's it 
okay so and finish and finish so now you will see if i rotate this back so depending on what the color you give it so it's it's already different to the previous one so it's uh and also you will see because the thickness there's five mil difference between this and this so you will see this so if i if i type tl so you will see that's that's it so now what i'm going to do is i want to change the wall type of this one as well so let's do select this one edit type edit and for this one i want to add the plast board as well so change this to four and gypsum 10 okay so that's the interior and then i also want to add some uh, exterior material so let's do insert go up i want to change uh, give it some uh, you can either use um, it's up to you so uh, i think i'll just use this one um, i'll leave this as just a use uh, by category so that's fine i'll maybe put in 40 mil so these these are the for the the, the patterns or uh, the substrate yep and we'll just add another one so this one change this to four finish and i want to maybe just add a, let's just create a new material i'll just call it a metal metal cladding okay and maybe just uh give it a pattern so uh, maybe create a new uh, vertical 100 maybe so this one will be 90 this one will be 100 all good okay 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 and uh, thickness let's just make it 20 so this is it so oh sorry I forgot to change the name so maybe we can change it here so it will be not uh, uh not 90 uh let's have a look at what the uh, 160 let's just call it 160 uh metal cladding okay so okay okay so now you will see the thickness because the different thickness again so it's just uh it's not aligned anymore so what we can do is you can you can just go edit type go here try to calculate the difference between them and so see this one maybe let's try negative 45 um, uh, probably not but actually instead of use wall center you can just use finish face so for example if you use finish face interior and change this to zero and okay and apply and okay so now that's it so it's easier to, uh, than uh, using uh, wall center okay so okay so this is a step wall so um, it's uh, it's it's just um, you can just use it just um, just like it's a just a basic wall so if you create a similar CS so you will see it's always uh, whatever the height you have here so the lower so 2.7 will always be the brick veneer so if you change the material of this wall it will also affect these okay so you can just uh, do the exactly the same to this stack wall so um, and when of course when you drag this down to here so see you won't be able to have stack wall so you probably just you need to create a, a brick veneer wall instead okay okay so and let me just show you so how to um you can actually so uh, sometimes you this no um no buttons or anything here you can just convert this stacked wall into two by 
basic wall. Okay, but you can wait. Uh, let me just do this edit profile. I want to just adjust the shape of this stacked wall. And okay, so now it's still a stacked wall, but sometimes um, you might think, okay, so can we just change this stacked wall into two walls? But I don't want to, you know, draw another one on the top and adjust the shape maybe and do another one there. So you can do this, okay? So you can tab, select this one, okay? So tab, select this one. And once again, tab, control, select. So now you, you have select these two basic wall. Okay, so with these two walls selected, control C, okay, and then escape and go paste and you can do this so align to the same place so now you have actually uh, maybe it's easier to do this maybe just delete everything because you you already um, control c those two basic wall you can now paste so now we have instead of have a uh, instead of one stacked wall so now we have two uh, individual two different walls okay so see all good okay so i think that's that's it um stacked wall so the next one so i'm going to just create similar so i just want to use this uh, brick veneer wall let me just flip it. So I'll use the split tool, SL, or you can just go to modify uh, this one, SL. Okay, so SL split. And we know that, so if if I, if I we click on here, it will become two or right? So all good. If we do it, if we rotate, so this view and click on this here so see this blue dash line if you click on this you will have these two wall okay so now if we drag this if we change the height of one of these two walls it will also affect the other one and also you can uh, for example sometimes you want to so for example this is an existing existing wall so you can use this um, to demolish part of the wall so I think this is quite easy to use so sometimes ah uh, I want to demolish less I want to demolish more okay and also um, let me just do another one SL and split and you can use different uh, type of uh, different wall type as well. Just like oh, hang on. Maybe before I change the before I change the wall type, I want for example I want to change the top one to that so this wall. But I also want to align the internal face. So you can do this. So select this wall, and before you change the wall type. To go change the uh, location line from wall center to finish interior and um, I think I click OK and then change this to that uh, uh, where is it here yeah. so now you will see it will stay so this face will stay in uh, the location and looks like there's a line between them but you can just join them because uh, the materials are same, so it will this line will disappear. Okay, so looks exactly the same to this stacked wall, and you can different to the stacked wall, which you know you can't drag um, to change the height. You need to go into the type. Okay, so if you change this one, you change everything. Change, oh sorry, not change everything. Change all the you know, same because a uh, uh, same stacked wall because uh, it's a type parameter. But this one, so you can just do it. You can change whatever you like. Okay. 
and okay so um let's have a look so the, the difference of course the difference is the differences uh so with this stacked wall if you edit profile so this is considered as one wall so it's quite easy so for example if i um if you you know create some opening there so or if you just want to change the profile it's very easy to to do but because these are two different walls so you won't be able to select both of them and edit the profile you need to do it you know one by one okay so you need to do it this way oops sorry so right and also um i think that's okay so yeah i think that's it um uh, but uh, but before we finish today's um exercise i wanted to show you something so because currently these two wall are still you know constrained so if, if you change the height of one wall the other wall, one will follow okay so how do we so it looks like there's something here but to be honest i don't know what this is for so even you know even you unlock it so uh, yeah um i haven't you know try to figure out what that one is but it's apparently it's not for this to to remove the constraint between between these two wall so what you can you need to do is just move your cursor around here okay and then tab tab and see this shape so this shape so dashed blue lines and I click here so so now you will see this is um, uh, actually what what's this one what shape handle something and you can just unlock this one so if you unlock this one now they are no longer linked to each other so we can just click on either on join elements or even just click OK just ignore it that's okay still okay so now they are not uh, locked to each other anymore of course if you drag this to touch this wall and you can still have the option to lock them and then they become linked again let's just remove it so tab tab uh, I think I'm not sure yet oh looks like this one's smaller I'm not sure why let's try this one oops yep yeah, I think that's all good so they're no longer linked okay so yeah don't worry about this warning because um, they are actually um, joined but if they are not touching every time you change the shape it will always give you this warning so if you don't want to see this warning anymore just click on on join okay overlapping that's fine um yeah drag it back lock it and join them to get rid of the line between them that's it okay so that's it um today we talked about stacked wall and also just normal wall two wall stacked uh, uh, one stacked on the uh, another one um, if you have any question or if you have uh, any um, suggestion or ideas please let me know okay so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time thank you bye